Happy 2024, you guys. I cannot believe we are finally here, but I am rounding up my top favorite products of 2023, and I did have some criteria. One, must have already been featured in a YouTube video. So nothing that you're seeing here is a surprise. It's not a new product. It's not something I've been using for like a couple days. These are all things I have loved throughout the year. Two, I must use it either on a daily or weekly basis, depending on what it is. And three, I must hit all of my favorite categories. So home, fashion, and beauty are the three that I'll be talking about today. And that's just because one, those are the top ones that I talk about here on my channel. But two, I could literally sit for three hours and share all the products that I love with you guys. So this kind of forced me to narrow it down. And we will start out with the product that gets used on a daily basis, a home item, a splurge item, and that is the GE Ice Maker. I told you guys I was going to buy this on Prime Day because we were hosting this year. We've started hosting a lot more. We're throwing our friends Christmas this year. We did Thanksgiving. Like, it's just something that I've always dreamed of, but never fails that someone's on the phone going, hey, can you get some ice on your way? So I wanted to get the GE Ice Maker and I use it on a daily basis. We use it for my son. All of his drinks have ice in them. It is absolutely incredible. It makes 24 pounds of ice in 24 hours, and I know that it is a hefty price tag, but if you are going to be hosting and you have like a big family or you do a lot of events, then it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Number two is our West Elm sofa. So I originally thought like, there's just no way West Elm sofas are feasible. They are so expensive. And when I actually started looking at how much we were spending for our really affordable sofas, I realized that how much we were having to replace those sofas, it actually evened out that like West Elm was either one more affordable or two, like just the same price. So we decided to get these West Elm sofas. Um, we have two of them in our home and I absolutely love them. I can't remember all of the details, so I will put those down in the description bar and the comment section below where you can find links to everything that I'm mentioning in this video. Um, but we did get like a custom sofa. Essentially, you pick the size, the bench style. I know we did the bench style seat. Um, we did like standard depth. You can do a petite depth if you wish. And we got a performance fabric. A lot of people were like, that is a very light gray sofa to have kids, but we got a performance fabric. So thankfully everything kind of bubbles up on it. Um, if it is a liquid that is spilled on it, although we don't like eat or drink on our sofas, but also a little bit of Folex goes a really long way if there is a stain. So we have just been so happy with these. They are incredibly comfortable. They did arrive before the estimated ship date both times. We ordered them um, separate because we weren't sure if we wanted to at first, but now we do have two. And I just, I cannot say enough good things about these sofas, the comfort level, the style. I mean, everything about them. I just love number three is this coffee maker. So we got the Ninja coffee maker. I was still like newly pregnant. I don't, I don't even think I was like 20 weeks pregnant um, with Roman and we just needed a new one specifically because we had a K cup machine. We had a coffee maker. Like we've just gone through so many coffee makers in our house and we were just like, whatever, like we need coffee. We have kids, like we need something. So what I like about this is that it has a regular coffee like pot um, that goes with it. It can use K cups and like you can totally make just a single cup of coffee, but it has a frother included. So all three features get used on a regular basis in our home. I think it's really nice. And a lot of people actually told me when I was asking for coffee pot recommendations months ago, they said, it doesn't matter what you get, get a Ninja. And I completely agree. Like every Ninja product that I have in this home has just gone above and beyond for me. Um, I, I've always felt like the Ninja products just like outperform as far as quality quality goes for an appliance. So I love my Ninja coffee maker. And then number four is our standing height desks. My husband and I both have one and I just love them so much. They do have a programmable button on them so you can like pick your heights. Um, I just think it's super nice to have a standing height desk. I've told you guys before standing is so good for you. And I believe I don't know if it's in all 50 states, but I know that at least in South Carolina, like there's a law that if you actually request a standing height desk from your employer, they cannot say no because of the benefits that have all come out through multiple studies of what standing can do for you at your desk. Anti-fatigue mats are going to be a necessity, especially in the beginning. Um, don't expect to just go from full sitting to full standing. It is a process, but one that you will be so glad that you did. I love standing so much. So our standing height desks are very affordable. They look really nice. 
nice, they were easy to put together, and I just overall have been so happy with having them in our home. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the YouTube fam, but also follow me on Instagram. I have so many good giveaways coming this year. January on Instagram, I have a huge giveaway of like 20 plus products that I absolutely love. It's valued at over like $500. Um, in February, I'm giving away a Dyson straightener. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and YouTube. And we will continue on into the fashion category. So <laughs> this is definitely one of those products I did not expect to blow up, but they were my favorite. So I found out uh, on January 3rd. That's when we officially confirmed one baby. Um, you know, the pregnancy was gonna be, it was a due date of August with Roman. I wanted them to wear to bed because I was like, I just need, like I know I'm already showing at, you know, just a few weeks, like I need something. And I wore them to bed and loved them so much. I bought another little pack and started wearing them during the day. Plain, simple tease. Someone asked for the link. I linked them on my Instagram and they took off like wildfire. I mean, I'm talking top seller for like four or five months in a row, these pack of Walmart t-shirts. Cause you can wear them for sleep if you size up. You can wear them with bike shorts if you size up. You can wear them while you're pregnant if you size up. You can wear your true size and style them regular just in like with a casual t-shirt and leggings. They are the best t-shirts ever. I wore them nonstop. I have gray, blue, black, like a lighter blue, a darker blue. I think I ended up ordering another gray, another white one. Like I wore these all the time while pregnant because they were just comfortable but still lightweight during my summer pregnancy and now I wear them to bed. So they are just the best loose t-shirts Again, they're men's, so you can size up and really have that oversized effect, but I mean, I just love these things. They were on repeat. I really was shocked at how quickly these took off. These Key Sunnies, and it is pronounced Key, Q-U-A-Y, I said Quay for a very long time. It is Key. Sunnies are my all-time favorite, and I will tell you why. I wore these the most because again, I was pregnant during the summertime and I had a toddler. We go outside every day. I wear hats all the time because I like to protect my skin from the sun, but these are good under hats. So you can wear a hat, especially like even a baseball hat that dips down here and they're not gonna like shove down like this. So they fit under all hats. It does not matter what hat they fit, but they're not too small that they look weird on my face. Personally, really small and especially round sunglasses are just not flattering on my face. But because these have a little bit of like, they're almost a little geometric. They look so good on my face and they don't look funky, but they're also lightweight. So I have been wearing these nonstop. I mean, they're the ones that I keep in my car. I had to go get them out of my car for this video. Um, but again, just like, I can't reiterate it enough. They work under hats too. So they're very, very comfortable. Um, and I just love these. Levi 501s. Let me tell you, Levi jeans, they're superior. I mean, celebrities wear Levi jeans. Um, like I've been very into Sophia Richie's style lately. She wears a lot of Levi's jeans um, or Levi jeans, I guess. Olivia Culpa wears a lot of Levi jeans. Like they're just the best jeans. Specifically 501s, I find that they are the most comfortable if you size up one. They don't stretch, they don't budge. And these particular jeans, I have them in three washes and I bought them in a fourth because I love them so much. They are just so nice. Now I will say these jeans, I have them all in, it's 29 regular. Cause again, I size up one. I have a 30 inch inseam, I'm five foot nine. And the regular fits me with all of them, but the lengths of the jean are different. So definitely make sure you're checking the inseam measurements for each wash because the different washes do have different inseams and like links to them. Um, but overall I have like three, almost four washes of these jeans. They're the best. Like I really think, in 2024, I'm gonna really lean into the Levi jean trend and I'm gonna start buying more of those. 2023 was also the year of sneakers and my mom and I were talking about it the other day and she said it's like pre-kids, you wear heels because they're comfortable. Like my entire pregnancy with Ezra, like I wore booties all throughout my pregnancy, I love them. They're super comfy, I don't mind booties, but once you have kids, you just switch to athletic wear 
because you're working out constantly chasing around those little kids. You're outside, you're inside, you're running errands. You just, you need sneakers. So I have two pairs of New Balance 327s here and they were hands down my most worn athletic style sneaker. I would not say these are just like, you know, the, the sneaker that you can wear with like a dress. They're not that kind. They're very athletic styled, but I love these. I guess I should show you the in on there. I just think these are the best. And although these do have orange on the back, I find that these still very much so work if you're looking for like a very light or white colored sneaker. So very comfy, but again, I reiterate, athletic style, hands down. These are, cannot be worn with dresses. They're just so lightweight, so comfy, fit true to size. I wear them nonstop. And then uh, the ones that I'm wearing right now, these are the Spanx faux leather leggings. Hands down every year, they're my most worn leggings. I love them but they came out with fleece line this year. And I have to say, I have to be careful when I wear these because the fleece line leggings are so warm. Like I wore them when we went and bought my new car and I like kept having to get up and go outside because they had the heat on in there. And I was like, I am so hot. They are the best fleece line leggings that I have ever owned. They are so warm, but the regular Spanx faux leather leggings are just so good too. Now, I think the fleece line leggings do look a little bit more, like they don't look as faux leather, but from afar, you still kind of see a little bit of shine. So you are gonna have a little bit of a differentiation in how they appear, um, but they fit the same. They are the same length. I wear a, um, actually now I wear a large. So size up one. I think that is the most comfortable fit. Um, so size up one and then I'm five foot nine and I wear the regular length. On their website, they say that if you're five foot nine, you should wear a long. I think that's the first like time they say that you should wear a long. I personally feel like if you're 5'10 or taller, you should wear the long. These are perfect. They hit it by ankles, but regardless whether you get the fleece lined or the regular, the Spanx fell leather leggings are just so good. I asked you guys on Instagram what your favorite product that you found for me was, and this was the number one response, and I'm not surprised because it's my favorite too. It is the Snail Mucin. I bought this on Prime Day, and it very quickly became a top seller, not just for every single month for the rest of the year, but like honestly, I think it was my number two top product in all of 2023. So I bought this in September because I was, I think it was right before Prime Day. That's what it was. And I use three pumps a day, once a day, and this is where we're at in the bottle. So you're gonna get a lot of use out of this product, but it helps the moisturization of your face so much. I found it through Derm Guru on TikTok. I now follow her, I'm obsessed with her videos. Um, and there are a couple dermatologists that I follow, and actually there's one on Instagram, I can't think of her handle, but of course you're supposed to make sure your face is a little bit damp when you do apply the snail mucin in order to make it work the best. And one of the dermatologists I follow recommended this thermal water. It has so many benefits, I absolutely love it. It's great for dry skin, diaper rash, skin irritation, after shaving. I mean, there are so many benefits to this. So this little combo right here is very, very powerful. Product number 12 is this incredible liquid collagen. This was my top seller for all of 2023. And you guys know it's something that I have talked about nonstop. So it had to be featured in this video. You can see the regrowth that I have. We're not sporting any bald spots today. I also have this like really light line um, from new growth that is coming in. And I have to say, so with my older son, I lost hair for six weeks. It started at nine weeks postpartum and I lost hair for six weeks. I don't know if it's because I got pregnant with Roman so quickly, but this time I started losing hair at nine weeks postpartum as well when I got my period back both times. And my son will be five months old tomorrow and I am still losing hair. Um, it definitely has started to taper but I have lost hair for significantly longer this time. And I don't have any bald spots. I haven't had any bald spots because I have continued to take that liquid collagen. I have said this to you guys so many times, you cannot stop postpartum hair loss. It is hormonal. It is your body getting rid of all of those hormones and it is just a normal thing. It will end eventually. It varies obviously depending on person to person and pregnancy and, and, and it just does, it's, it's a lot but you can promote growth in the meantime. So that is why I love this. It has given me such confidence. I'm able to like wear my hair back already because I don't have these big bald spots because I've just continued to take it. So a lot of you guys told me that you really love that product in 2023. And that makes me so happy that so many of you guys have had incredible um, results from it as well. So 
top favorite of 2023, a top seller, number one top seller on all of 2023's products. So I of course needed to mention it in today's video. Number 13, Babe Brow Serum. I've talked about this brand so many times lately and I've told you guys the reason that I specifically love this one is because a lot of us overplucked our eyebrows and made them super thin back in the like early mid 2000s and it was just a mess. I have been on a regrowth journey for a very long time because all of the brow hairs that I used to overpluck because I naturally have super thick brows came back in blonde and really, really sparse. They just weren't cute. And with the help of this product, not only does it make your hair thicker, but it makes them darker. My brows are finally back to how they looked when I was like in middle school and early high school before I used to go to the nail salon and let them like wax my brows to nothing. So this has just been such a good product. I am so impressed with it. You only need a small amount once a day and it is going to make the biggest difference. They'll even tell you like after six weeks, I think they say like maybe reevaluate if you need to keep using it. Like this isn't something you're going to need to use long term. Just let the hair regrow and then you're good. It is incredible. Number 14 is the Grande Lash MD Lash Serum. I absolutely love this product. I was not sure about it, but one of you guys told me, I've said this a couple of times here, to start using their mascara because I also lose lashes when I lose postpartum hair. And y'all were like, I'm telling you, like it's actually one of the best ones. And I completely agree. There was another lash serum I used for years and I liked it a lot. But as far as like how quickly this one worked, like six weeks and I was waking up looking at my lashes like, whoa, okay, we're gonna have to be careful with this. Truthfully, I'm going to have to back off how much I use this. I use it daily, um, but my lashes now are so long that they touch my eyebrows, and so I'll put mascara on, and literally just as I'm putting mascara on, they like touch the top of my brows and like get mascara everywhere. That's how long my lashes are. They've never been that long in my life. So this is one that I started using after I was done um, with my pregnancy with Roman because it is not pregnancy safe, but the site that I used said that it is nursing safe. So I just absolutely love this so, so much because of how fast it really made my lashes come in. And then product number 15 is the NARS Light Reflecting Serum. This is hands down my most used foundation this year because it's lightweight but has a full coverage finish and that was key for me. I needed something that didn't feel heavy and like it was just like so thick on top of my skin, but I have a really red skin. I have rosacea and so I needed something that was going to cover and this has done the trick. I have it in a few different colors, um, just depending on whether or not I have self tanner on or not. It is hands down top use foundation, top favorite foundation. So good. Um, just works so well, lasts all day. I mean, I could just talk and talk and talk about this. It looks good in photos. This is such a good foundation. So one of my top favorites of 2023 for sure. And that is it for today's video. I can't believe that I just filmed this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Every, I feel like every time I film this video, I say it feels like it was only yesterday. I was filming my previous year favorites, but that's so true. I'm so excited for what is to come this year. You guys, I cannot wait. I've got so many good ideas. I feel so normal again. My postpartum depression is completely gone. Thankfully. Um, I just feel motivated. I feel like me again, and I'm so, so excited. So I would love if you guys would click the subscribe button. If you're new here, don't forget to follow my husband and I over on our vlog channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for 2023, for the last however many years I've been here on YouTube. I'm so grateful for you guys. Love you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.